اللهم صل على الحبيب محمد يا رب صل you know, so, so Hoshan, you know, I, I go to your home and uh, to me it's like a kid, I'm a kid in a candy store. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there are a few pieces on your wall that uh, I found to be very touching, and then you, mm -hmm. you explain them to me. And uh, mm -hmm. one of them in particular, the Sami Effendi piece that you have, the print of Dakhilu Kayaro. Oh. Talk to us about that. Uh, this is something, I saw it in a little piece, a little piece about that big, a little photograph of it in a book a long time ago. And I could barely make it out, it was so small. And I thought, my God, what? What a statement this is. And so I, I, I finally was lucky enough to get a bigger picture of it. And, and then I found out, it's, you know, Sami did a lot of versions of this thing. They're all pretty much the same, but they, some are bigger than, I've seen a huge one that, he, that, that was made from one of his stencils. And tell, me what the, tell me what it says. Well, first of all, it's got a line in Turkish. It's in the, it's in the Jelly Talik script, which is one of my favorites. And, and it, over the top of it, it says, Gariki Bahri Yasyanim. And, and it's an interesting, it's a combination of Arabic, Persian, and Turkish all together in, in three words. The words are Arabic, but the grammar is, is Turkish and Persian. It says, I am the drowning in this, I'm drowning in the sea of my own rebellion. Mm. Then underneath it says in Arabic, Dahiluka Ya Rasulullah. And, and and so what does that mean, Dahil? You know, a lot of people they don't know, you know. But you know, Dahil, they used to go to the local Arab sheikh if they're in trouble, you know, like for sanctuary, and they and they'd say, Dahiluk, and uh, right. the guy was he'd have to take him in for a couple of days yeah. anyway, and and so we're asking Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Dahiluk Ya Rasulullah, we want to be your take sanctuary with take you us in, in please, take us in, you know. And, and and it's a, it's it's a statement, it's it's a it's a du'a, it's, it's all kinds of interesting. I don't know the origin of the thing. It may be a hadith origin, it may be something that somebody wanted to be a hadith. You know, you, you right. never know. You know. So the the one that you have in your house, it, it's a copy, but it's got these three interesting creases in it. What happened with this one? I I I've seen a lot of them, but I never actually held an original. And so I was in. Uh, uh, Qatar, and they have a, a calligraphy museum in Qatar, which is kind of a hodgepodge. And he had way down by the floor this this dahiluk. Uh, it was about this big, and um, it was um, torn. Somebody had torn it in half. You know, there's some people who don't like this. They think it's shirk, you know, and this nonsense. Uh, you know, I, I beg your pardon, you know. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, I said, hey, I want to see this one. Bring it up. You right. know? So he took it up, and, and I looked at it. I said, look, oh, take it out of the frame. And, I, and so I took it out of the frame, and I adjusted it a little bit, fitted it a little bit. And I, so I had a friend of mine, another artist in Qatar named Yusuf, Yusuf Ahmed. I said, Yusuf, get your camera out of here. Take me a nice picture of this. And he just pulled his camera out, and he, he, he took this picture. And for some reason, he just it was just right. You know, It, it was all parallel, and everything perfect. came out. The perfect photograph. Yeah, except we got the little crack running down the middle. So I said to the owner of the thing, the guy who runs me, he's an old friend. I said, Sheikh Hassan, why don't you let me fix this for you? Let me restore it for you. I'll, I'll glue it back together because, to tell you the truth, the, 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 the cardboard that is made on, the, the paper it's made, it's a little worn out, it's a little affected by acid. Uh, 50 years from now, it's not going to be, in, 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 it won't be able to be saved. He says, I said, L so let me, let me take it back with me and I'll fix it and send it back. He says, oh, no, we can't do it. We can do everything here. Mm. So it was the last I ever saw of it. Oh, wow. But uh, have you written that piece? I wrote one one time, but I'll tell you, it was really intimidating. Why? Because, because it is so strong that, that uh, number one, we're working, we're working with the piece by Sami Effendi who died in 1912, it, 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 probably one of the most astoni astonishingly outstanding calligraphers of all time. Uh, he, uh, you look at his, you can't help but be intimidated when you look at something that this guy did. We learn everything from him. Uh, we sit at his, at his feet and watch him metaphorically. But you look at that thing. Yeah, 
the soul and the love. Four words. And, and they're the most perfectly arranged and drawn out words. And, and, and to make something, you know, you can't fool the eye. If you make a, a, a calligraphically trained eye, if you have it, and then you try to make it, uh, um, if you make these mistakes in it and you try to fool it by putting little squiggles around and tessibs and businesses like that, then the, the guy, a trained eye will say, ha, 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 you know, mm. look what he's trying covering to do. Covering it up, you, you, covering you, something you, up. You're covering it up, you're hiding, you're trying to hide behind the bush of, of confusion, you know. <laughs> so I, I took this uh, thing, I made one one time and I says, I probably won't do another one. Wow, it's <laughs> yeah, it was too much. Uh, and I got this, I, I used to sent me the, the, the slide and I took the slide and had it processed and, and, and and that's enough, you know. I, the photograph of, uh, of this great piece is enough. Is enough. For it. Yeah. Uh, there, there's an interesting word in, in in Arabic which moves over into Turkish called meleke. Hmm. Uh, meleke means means mastery of a topic or a, a technique or this or that or a talent. Um, it means being able to control your media and all these things uh, with confidence. Hmm. And so that's. That's more what I'm aiming at, rather than just the general term of uh, uh, mastery. The, the, I think I think in in, in, in the uh, in the um, uh, to use the Turkish phrase, you would call mastery ustadlik, mm. or the the, the 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 thing of being an ustad. You know, and and, and I don't much go for that. I don't, uh, ustad ustad shmustad. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> this is this is this is this is, this, be, this borders into something we call. Kulfet, you know, it's Kulfet. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs>